Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and that means you should be watching Warfronts, but unfortunately you're not. The reason for that is, well, guys, as I said in the State of the Channels uh, video, I have a certain amount of time to work on this show, and that's how much time I have. Period. And this week, I did not get a gameplay in time to make this a reality. So uh, I, I got a gameplay. I got a complete game, which you're seeing on your screen right now. But it was uninspired. I made a lot of mental errors. And ultimately, the game would have just been me saying, Hey, stupid, stop doing stupid things. Because that's really how I was playing. This gameplay came at the very end of a three-hour session. And eh, it just didn't... It didn't work. It's uninspired, my play is lethargic, and my decision making is piss poor. So I didn't want to use it because there's nothing to be learned from it, really. Uh, don't suck is what's to be learned from it. Uh, you know, pay attention when you're playing. That's what's to be learned from it. Uh, what ended up happening was I kept coming into games that were already basically complete. Uh, a 900-400 codex, uh, you know, a 400-100 to 100 Black Garden, that sort of stuff. I got strings of those, just back to back to back, and uh, I, I really, I, I couldn't draw anything from those games. Uh, you know, two or three minutes of gameplay, even if I pieced those together into some kind of a montage, it just wasn't happening. Uh, so, no gameplay this week, or nothing that was usable, so I do apologize. I usually play for about two hours to get my gameplay, then I use an hour to construct the show. In this case, I pushed the limits, and I played for the full three and still didn't get anything worth having. So uh, I do apologize, guys. I don't want this to become a regular uh, a regular thing, but it happened. So uh, let's just go ahead and make it an apology tour. <laughs> let me uh, let me also say uh, that I am I'm very sorry for the way that I've been treating this channel. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys have noticed, but I've really been neglecting it. Uh, I do read all your comments. I, I, I promise you that. <laughs> I read all the comments that you guys leave, and I appreciate those so greatly. Uh, when someone says that they would rather watch uh, level-headed analysis like what I do versus, uh, you know, an, a, a heavy edited dubstep montage any day, that is the reason that I do this. You know, I do this uh, for the people who enjoy it. And I don't care if it's 25 people or 2,500 people that are enjoying the video. Uh, you guys are the reason that I make this video. And really, I haven't been respecting you guys, so uh, I have to apologize for that. I need to be more attentive. I need to respond to your uh, YouTube messages uh, more quickly. I need to actually interact with you in the comments section. Uh, people leave helpful comments, and I, I need to tell you that. Uh, when I use your comment, um, I, I need to tell you that. And when you tell me something that is uh, useful or helpful, I need to tell you that. And when you tell me something that is redundant that I've talked about before, I want to tell you that too. Uh, but it's it's been a weird transition coming from TGN Rift, uh, where this show felt like a set it and forget it kind of thing. Just drop it and come back uh, middle week to respond to a bunch of people saying this game looks just like WoW. And a couple of people giving me uh, constructive feedback. And uh, since it's moved here, I haven't really treated it like my own again. You know, I haven't treated it like something that was uh, a part of my personal Rift channel. I mean, this is my Rift uh, YouTube channel. This isn't uh, this isn't TGN anymore. Uh, you know, I could have taken this show over to TGN, but uh, another TGN channel, but I didn't, and I, I did that for a reason. And the reason was that I wanted to take ownership uh, of this show again. I wanted it to be my thing again. And uh, I just totally dropped the ball on that since bringing it back to Tales of Talara. So, uh, I, I, again, apologies for that, guys. I want to, uh, moving forward, I want to make... I want to make the focus of this thing interaction with community. Uh, I have to admit, I have my variety gaming channel where I play all kinds of games, and I've been paying more attention to that audience over there, and I haven't been interacting with you guys on the level that I should. I mean, there ain't a lot of us playing Rift anymore, I mean, on the internet. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a decent amount of folks still playing the game, uh, but the internet community, especially the video community, just isn't there the way it used to be, and, and we need to talk. We need to, you know have a witty banter in the comment section of a video. So I'm looking forward to bringing that back, and I really want to concentrate on making sure that I am talking to you guys in the comments and, and being respectful of your opinions. And, and when you help me 
telling you that you that you helped me because uh, that is what this is all about so uh, thank you guys you guys really are the reason that I'm continuing to do this um, I have to admit without this show I probably would have unsubbed riff uh, rift uh, a couple months ago but because of this show it's pushed me to um, to better myself and, and to keep playing and I've enjoyed the time that I've been playing I mean you know make no mistake I'm not um, I'm not still playing this game just because of the show but uh, I could have easily forgotten about the game were it not for this show. So uh, I appreciate everything that you guys have done uh, to support me, following me over here uh, from TG and Rift, and uh, thank you. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to go um, with the next couple of episodes. I went back on my level 50 and met with a lot of that same old frustration again, uh, and a lot of that was just my ineffectiveness and my uh, lack of skill. So I'm going to be looking for a new spec, something with higher burst damage uh, that I think I can sustain. I tried that dis B burst damage spec that just didn't end up working out for me. So I think I'm probably going to go with one of the more traditional PvP specs and give that a try. Uh, also, of course, as you can see, playing on my bard and enjoying that. So uh, I'm going to keep going. I don't know, uh, you know who I'm going to play what week. It's just going to be whoever can, I can get a better gameplay out of at this point. Uh, for some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble getting full gameplays. Uh, I'm popping into a lot of half-finished games. Uh, even the last couple of weeks, that's been happening to me a lot. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens going forward. I appreciate your support. And if you have any suggestions, always leave them in the comments. Let, it, let me know uh, because that's what keeps this show moving forward. So, uh, guys, again, I do apologize for no episode of Warfronts this week. We are on that tight schedule now. My production schedule for videos is a very small window. And uh, for the last few weeks, I have been able to get out all my content in that window. But this week, both of my channels um, are missing some content due to technical issues on one side and, of course, queuing issues on this side. So I appreciate your support. And as always, take it easy.